Hey, this is John Botel, and welcome to my review of Quiz Funnels. Now, this is going to be incredibly important for you if you're interested in making money online. Uh, because this product, this piece of cloud based software, works for absolutely anything. It works for e com, it works if you're in the IM niche, it works if you're in uh, the financial services niche, it works if you're in the real estate niche. If you're trying to sell something to somebody somewhere, you need this piece of cloud based software. So please take time to have a look at my review. It's a full walkthrough review of the entire product. Take a look. I'm sure you'll find it. You're going to find it useful in your business. And then hit the button below to buy through this exclusive bonus link. Okay, so here we are inside the uh, Quiz Funnels um, interface. So, first thing you have to do is number one, notice how cool it is. <laughs> it's got all this funky stuff going on. But that's not really important. That's just cosmetic stuff. Let's look at what actually goes on when we get inside. Um, and I just want to let you know, as always, when I'm doing these reviews and I'm doing these walkthroughs, I do them cold. In other words, I don't go in and test the system and work out how to do it and learn all the systems so I can show you how easy it is. This is literally me logging in for the first time. I've just set up the account uh, and this is the first time I'm actually going to go in and, and see it because that's what you guys are going to see when you first log in and I think that's important. And if I find it easy and intuitive, um, then you guys will find it the same way. So let's, let's have a look. Let's log straight in here. Okay, the one thing I have done is I have watched the video, so I kind of know what to expect. Um, I just haven't actually ever set up a funnel before. So it brings you into this uh, interface that, that asks you to watch the training videos here, which is what I did originally. Um, okay, so I'm just going to close that down. And the first thing we need to do is uh, get the integration working. So I'm going to integrate. I integrate with my GetResponse account, so I'm going to connect that. Now I have to enter an API key. So just give me a minute. I'm going to grab the API key from GetResponse and then I'll be right back. And then we hit connect. So then it's going to go and see. And there it's connected my GetResponse account to QuizFunnels. So how easy that was. And you can see they have integrations currently with ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Aweber, Constant Contact, and Sandwich, which is kind of the main ones that you would want. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the uh, home screen. Don't need that. Um, now, you have the option here to use one of their uh, built-in templates, or you can create a quiz from absolute scratch. Now, I always think when you first start out doing anything, use their templates. You know, It's, it's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. So uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. And you can see they've got a ton of really cool templates that you can choose from. Uh, and there are upgrades to get more templates, uh, which I again encourage you to look at because um, you know, you're going to want to have variety, particularly if you're selling in a lot of different niches. Now, I'm going to create a little um, survey for you guys. So I am going to choose something like this. This looks like a pretty good one to me. So I'm going to use this quiz. Okay, and now I'm just going to change it. Let's uh, copy that. So um, this is going to be a how. see the preview here live updates uh, this is fine enter the questions to Okay, there we go. 
test quiz files. So that's fine, we're going to use that one. And then we're going to save and create the outcomes. Okay, now the outcomes are the various different options that you may have um, that the questions are going to lead to. So you start with the outcomes and then go back to the questions. So let's, uh, let's do outcome one. Okay, and this is what it has here. Um, now what I'm going to do is I actually have some, some kind of preloaded uh, outcomes. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this because I do not want it. Um, I'm going to put in an image. Done. If you click it, then you get the uh, into open up your files on your computer. Okay, here we go. Desktop. Okay, so I'm going to use 74 desktop. thing we can do is if this uh, outcome, this 74% outcome, which I have here, here, is one particular outcome, um, you can select a different integration. Now I actually only set up one list, but you could select any one of these lists. Okay, so I actually got this other list here, which is another uh, test list, which I uh, created. Uh, and so you can create a separate list depending on each outcome. So you can properly segment your list depending on what people like, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, so we're going to save that outcome, and now we're going to go on to outcome number two. And again, I'm just going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to insert an image. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward now through um, me just creating all these outcomes. Um, and by the time we get to the end of it, we'll have all those outcomes sorted and we'll be ready to start structuring our questions to get there. So now we have all the outcomes. So uh, all the outcomes that I wanted to create. So I've got four different ones. And now we can save and create the questions. So um, that's question one. And then question number two. Uh, sorry, uh, answer number two. It's 18 to 25. And another answer. It's going to be 26 to 45. Over here, this little box to the right hand side of the question, this tells them which answer, which outcome it should be leading towards. Okay, so uh, let's say, for example, we've got this one outcome one, two, three, or four. The previous ones do, but let, let, let's just choose it every round. Let's just say that that one's a one, uh, that one's a one, this one's a two, this one's a three. Okay, I'm just going to jump into fast forward again. I'm going to create all of these uh, questions and answers, and then we'll be back for the next section because I don't want to leave you hanging on here bored while watching me type. There's, a, there's no point in wasting your time that way. So you can see this is really easy to use. It's not, oops, it isn't part of I just deleted something. <laughs> if you don't have clicky fingers, it's easy to use. <laughs> Invest in my existing business. Okay, I'm going to link that to our phone. Okay. And now I'm going to save and configure things. Okay, here we are. 
um, and you can actually uh, force people to enter their details before you show them their results. Okay, so this is a great form of lead capture. Now, if you're doing some kind of e-com, okay, um, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. You're going to lose people going through the survey if you're forcing them to enter their details, whereas you could direct them direct to a tailored offer uh, based on their results. So um, have a think about it and, um, and kind of uh, work out which way is going to be uh, best. Uh, but I'm going to leave it in uh, for now. But I'm also going to uh, enable the skip option here. So this is, uh, that we can skip this, uh, skip this step just to see the results. Uh, and uh, that's fine. There is, I don't think there's a, uh, I'm just going to take out the first name and just leave the email address, which I think is, you can get the maximum. You can also add a Facebook pixel here, so you can retarget these people. I haven't done that, I don't need to do that right now. Uh, and then you can also enter your uh, privacy policy, URL or text. And then you can hit save or create offer. So we can select an outcome to add to the offer. Um, okay, so we can do a um, the call to action. heels or flats, you could direct people specifically to an offer that was tailored towards them. So it's absolutely perfect. Uh, so, um, I think what else am I doing here? Enable offer, you can turn your offer on. Uh, okay, you can also do image offers. Let's have a look at, at, at some of the options here, because this is the first time I've seen this, and you can do uh, image offers. So you could um, upload an image. For them directly there and there. So, you know, you could do something like um, have a, a banner here uploaded with the, uh, the picture of, um, of what they have. And you can see the title still stays there. Uh, you could also do a videos, uh, a video with a call to action. Um, but we're just going to do text. And we'll just leave it like that for now. But all those options are available to you. I mean, the, imagine how powerful the image one is. You, know, you actually show them a picture. What they've selected, what the kind of thing they like, uh, or even a you know a three kind of options picture, and just say you know shop now. Click that button, takes you direct to your Shopify store or to your e-commerce store. Uh, be incredibly powerful um, to give them that kind of direction because you're targeting down, you're pre-selecting your customers uh, and offering them exactly what they want. It's, this is incredibly powerful stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, all we're doing is this uh, text offer. So why you did great, but your success could be improved. Funnels. I tell you what, let's um, let's see if we can actually do a, um, an image. And let's see what we got. Uh, we can choose the funnels. I think I've got a little click funnels. 
click funnels. I knew I was going to say that quiz funnels um, thing here. Uh, that's my desktop. Um, yeah, it's right here. Uh, this. If I choose that. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and then I am going to review and publish. Okay, now what this does is this gives us some embed codes. Um, so can, you can either have a custom URL like this, so that you're actually, you actually turn that on, um, and you can create your own URL, you just create the, the link there, uh, and you get then the user to click it and they host the, the quiz for you, quiz funnels will host it. Okay, but let me turn that off a second. Or we can do an embed code, but we just grab this code here, just copy and paste it, and you paste that into your website directly. Or you can iframe, um, and iframe is great for Facebook, so you can actually copy this and post it to your Facebook wall, to your Facebook groups that you manage, and get your um, your followers to engage with your survey, and you can change the width and the height of this. Um, but what I want to do uh, is I'm going to use this uh, embed code right here, and I'll embed it within uh, my uh, bonus site. Um, and we're going to go and have a look at that now, so just give me a second. I say that um, uh, size of it wasn't uh, particularly right, but it was just the image I had for quick quiz funnels at the time. Well, you did great, but your success could be improved with quiz funnels and just click to learn more or show you uh, show you the quiz results. So you'll be offer first, okay? And then they have to see the quiz results. If they can click that, you can see they've got you have a 64 chance percent chance of being successful. If they go to share that, oh, they can't load it because it's in my private. Uh, browser window but that will share and it should be um, uh, it should be able to be clickable once it gets through there as well uh, so yeah okay so let me score this stuff um, let me just come back here so we're back in um, in actual quiz funnels let me score this for you because um, usefulness I would give it um, in terms of lead generation and increasing uh, conversions by specifically targeting the right product to the right customer, it gets a 10 out of 10. Okay, now in terms of usability, I would say that this is probably a 9 out of 10 on the usability. Um, you know, it was very, very simple to use. There's nothing that really shocked me uh, or caused me to, to have too many problems. You know, I watched the videos first, that does help. It only takes about 15 minutes to watch all the videos, so that's a big help to start with. I would suggest you do that. Um, but yeah, certainly 9 out of 10. A couple of little things that I think could have been improved on, but generally it's very, very, uh, very good. Uh, in terms of value, during launch week right now, um, it's a 10 out of 10. Really, you can't get a better value than you're getting right now, particularly, I'm bound to say it, but particularly if you buy it through my link, because quite frankly, I'm offering the biggest and best bonuses, as always. Um, you know, myself and Simon spend a lot of time putting our promotions together. We spend a lot of time getting the right uh, bonuses to go with the right product. Uh, and what you're getting is the very best bonus available anywhere in the Remember to check out the O2O, that's extra uh, bonuses uh, for the O2O, so remember, don't just click out of that, you check that O2O carefully because the bonuses are definitely worth it. So yeah, it's, it, it's a very, very good product. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough, I hope you found it useful, and you're going to be able to go out and use this in your business, because it can be used for any kind of business in any niche, it can work for e com it can use, be used for the IM niche can be used for real estate, can be used uh, in investments, can be used absolutely anywhere. Uh, it's great for local businesses, people targeting down. It is a fabulous, uh, easy to use piece of software and I suggest that you 
get it while it's at this discounted price. So thanks very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll speak to you soon. It's John Botel signing out.